So we have the, I'm sure at all ages, there are always those individuals who are a little more ingenious, who would retain their childish initiatives and interests a little more than others. And I'll call, I call that the Leonardo type, that they are try to solve problems by design. And so that I'm going to have a Leonardo type architect, engineer. When you began to pile up stones, gravity, of course, held one stone on top of another. <laughs> if you try to just pile them up vertically, it gets to a point where there's a tendency to tip the wrong way. <laughs> so instead of letting them tip the wrong way, you just start with a very big base and then make a smaller covering on that and brings about the pyramid type. So the pyramid is just obviously not going to tip over. <laughs> And so the pyramid form became very logical for an enormous stone pile under which you would, and, and within uh, and ch chambers inside of it, you would have all the things the pharaoh f would need where you could put the pharaoh himself in there and all the kind of tools, the implements and riches he would need when he got to the other side. So we have the first Leonardo type who realized they're going to have to move a great many stones and he discovers the principle of the lever. <laughs> and by virtue of it, he's able to move stones very extraordinarily. Nobody had ever seen that before, but that was part of his ingenuity and, and childish purity. So one by one, various very ingenious concepts are manifest by these Leonardos who design them into the task in this world in order to get you over in the next world. <laughs> but they always leave the new tools in this world for the next situation. So there's a very rapid accumulation of tools and concepts of the building. And the tools for chipping of the stone or whatever it may be to make it fit a little better. And ingenious ways of learning how to carry the stone down the Nile River and so forth, and how to get it over in place. We have a next Leonardo invents the idea of continually bringing up sand. It's very easy to, with thousands of men to keep pushing sand up to, to high on, on your pyramid so you can keep sliding the rocks of stone with levers up on, on, the, on the hillside. So in other words, you keep burying it in, in, in a hill that is easy to negotiate. So that's why they get the stones up there.